Today I'm going to show you how to create an animated graphic like this one here. So if you want to learn how, stick around and I'll show you. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools and tricks to help you share your story. Today I've got a special edition video. I'm going to walk you through several steps. We're going to be using two apps, Adobe Photoshop. We're going to remove a green screen from an image like this one here. And then we're going to take that and take it into Adobe Spark Post and create an animated graphic like this one here. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I've got Adobe Photoshop opened up here with my image. As you can see there, I'm holding a phone with a green screen. Now, the way I did this was I created a green square in Adobe Spark post and brought it into my phone, just downloaded the object, increase the size. So whenever I take a picture, uh, that green is going to be easier to remove. So uh, why did I pick green? Just because it's the green screen, it could be any color, uh, but really to make it contrasty, I know that's a, a real word there, make it easier to remove. So as you can see there in my image, I'm going to zoom in, command plus sign or on a PC Windows, you'll use control just to bring it closer there. There are so many different ways to do this in Photoshop. I'm going to show you the way that I do it. And that is to use the magic wand tool right there. And it just makes it basically easy to select all that green by clicking just like that. I can select the whole green there. Now you can increase the tolerance or decrease the tolerance to just make sure it grabs all the green. Sometimes there's some tail and green that sticks around. So you can change that number just depending on whatever works for you. Um, let's see here. Let's go with 35 and we'll select it again. And then all I'll do is click backspace or delete. And there it is. The whole green is gone. Uh, let me make sure and select out. My next step would be to export this image as a PNG. So now here, I'm going to save it as a PNG and then choose transparency because if I don't, you're going to see a white box in there and basically defeat the purpose of why we did this. So let's go ahead and save this. And then this step is completed. So now we're going to go over to Adobe Spark Post and do the next part. All right, so I have Adobe Spark opened up here. I'm going to click on the blue plus sign and choose custom sized graphic. And let's go to social post and I'm going to go ahead and choose Instagram portrait. Now you could always change the size afterward. And so here, what we're going to do is several things. We're going to import the image that I created. So let's go add and let's go to photo and let's upload the overlay with the uh, removed green screen there. Let's make sure that's it there. I'm going to choose to move freely. That's important. If you choose stick to the background, you're not going to be able to do this little activity or project. Okay. So there it is. Now I can increase the size. Let's go ahead and do that here. All right. So we got that part done. And now the next piece is to add some text that's going to be behind that. So right now this is on the top layer. So now my next step is to add some text. Now this text is going to be placed right now on the top layer, but that's okay. Let's add a little message. This is cool. And tap or click done here. And it's okay if right now, as I mentioned, it is on the top layer. That's okay. Let's go ahead and change the color. I'm going to be using kind of like my brand colors here, whatever works like that. Or let's see, let's choose uh, this is a part that sometimes I take too long is because I have too many choices. Um, let's go ahead and go with that one there. And let's go and adjust the shape as the padding on the shape. Let's you want to make enough room around it so that when you adjust the size, if it's nicely inside the phone. So, all right, let's go ahead and go with that there. And make it just make sure it's going to fit kind of in the phone. Now here's the next piece. We're going to do a little bit of rotating here. Now I know you can't see my phone, but here's the, the next piece here is we're going to again, click on there. And if you notice down here at the bottom, there's an order slider here. So we're going to slide that to the left and now it's behind it. And I can go ahead and use my key 
to adjust and maybe make it a little bit smaller. Now again, remember I talked about that uh, padding. We want to make sure that you have enough room, make a little bit of adjustment on the rotation, use my keys here. All right now, if we need a bit more uh, letter spacing, we'll just use that so that way it'll fit nicely. All right, cool. So now I've got that done there, I've added it. So now my next piece, let me go ahead and name this uh, animated overlay. So now to, in order to animate this, I got to take this over to my phone. I'm going to be using my iPhone. You can do this on an iPad as well. Right now, this uh, feature is not available yet on an Android. So if you don't have one, maybe you want to borrow one to try this out. And now the next step is to open up this project on my phone in Adobe Spark Post. So there it is that project I started on the computer. Let's tap on edit and then you want to tap on animation and choose whichever animation you like. I'm going to go with this one here or let's do that one there and then tap done. And then what you will want to do is save this project on your phone. Choose video animation. Otherwise it'll be static. And then here it is. Save video. So now this project is on my phone. So let's see. How it looks like so we have it here there it is so now I can share this project anywhere I like and that is how you can create this animated overlaid graphic using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Spark Post I hope you have fun creating your own animated graphics if you have any comments or questions please do leave it in the comment section below don't forget hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and please do share it with your friends um, and that's a wrap. Thank you again for watching this video. As always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.